In this video, we are going to learn how to estimate the volume of concrete in the cast piles that we counted before. If we look at the notes on this drawing, we read for the cast piles, we have 14 inch new concrete auger cast pile, C section 1 drawing S4, and foundation note number 4. So, if you have problems understanding the drawings, I will highly recommend that you look into the handout how to read blueprint drawings because that may be extremely important for your performance in this course. So, let's go and open drawing S4, section 1. We'll go here to the pull down menu, open drawing 76, which is S4, and then we see that up here in the top left corner we have section 1. This section has a scale of a half inch to a foot, and we see that it has the detail for the piles that we were looking at before. These piles seem to be 31 feet from this point to the bottom plus a uh, four inch uh, on on uh, on top of the um, ground uh, I guess this is the uh, ground beam that goes across the length of the 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 building in some points this would be the foundation beam or great beam uh, denoted as uh, GB1 so the the piles go uh, perpendicular to this great beam they go underground and we see that they have a uh, concrete around and inside there is a reinforcement that reinforcement is uh, five number six bars that are uh, accommodated around this uh, circle five of those one two three four five and they are tied together with number three ties the ties are separated at four inch on the first eight feet from the top and then uh, 12 inch uh, intervals afterwards so we see that these piles have uh, concrete and they have reinforcement the bars go uh, extend past the length of the pile and into the uh, grade beam uh, for structural support so we need to estimate these uh, rebars and we need to estimate the volume of concrete Let's start with the volume of concrete. The volume of concrete is going to be the volume of a cylinder, right? This is a uh, circular uh, cross section and the length of this cylinder seems to be 31 feet to this point. We're not going to count the 4 inches because that volume of concrete will be in the great beam right they are uh, intersecting over there so we'll take 31 feet as the height of this cylinder and 14 inch as the diameter of this uh, section if you had trouble remembering the volume of different uh, geographic figures I will very highly recommend that you look into module 2 handouts where we have the volume of uh, very useful geometric figures. This is the geometric figures handout that I have in module 2. So we can see that for cylinders we have the volume is pi times the radius square times the height. So we have the diameter 14 inch. The volume can also be calculated as pi times the diameter square times the height divided by 4 since the diameter is 2 times the radius when you um, when you do the math you can estimate then the volume as pi times the diameter square times the height divided by 4 to estimate the volume of the concrete, we're going to use our general estimating template that we have talked about in other videos. So this uh, general estimating template, as we have it right now, we have added uh, two new tabs, one for Division 3 concrete, one for Division 4 masonry. What we're going to do right now is we're going to use these calculations tab to perform the calculations of uh, volume for the pile cast. So I'm just going to type a title here, 
uh, pile cast well I prefer to use capital letters so I'm just going to uh, type this in capital letters pile cast concrete volume so we know the volume is going to be equal to pi times the diameter square times the height divided by 4. So what we're going to do here is we're going to enter each one of the variables. We have the diameter. We have the height. And then we can calculate the volume. I am making this in separate cells so we can change them if we need to. The diameter is 14 inch. The height is 31 feet. So we could calculate the volume. But then uh, we will have a problem because the volume as given in this formula has to be consistent with the unit of measurements. So if we use the diameter uh, that diameter should be in feet and the height in feet so the total volume would be calculated in cubic feet. If we use the diameter in inches then we should use the height in inches so the complete volume would be calculated in cubic inches and then we will have to translate that to cubic feet. So it is uh, a lot better if we enter the diameter in uh, feet rather than inches. So in order to convert feet to inches, uh, inches to feet, we divide by 12. So 14 inches, 14 inches divided by 12 is going to be 1.667 feet. So what I did here is I entered an equal sign in front to represent a formula. And then I have 14, which is the diameter, divided by 12, which is uh, inches to feet and the result of that calculation is 1.667 feet. So now I can calculate the volume as pi times the diameter squared times the height divided by 4. Now to enter a formula I will click the equal sign and I need to look for the uh, constant pi. So I'm going to click here on f of x to insert a function in Excel. This brings this uh, insert function window that has uh, a lot of uh, uh, formulas in it. The default is most recent used, but you can click over there and select all. So if you select all, this will give you a list of all the possible functions that Excel has. The one I am looking for is pi. So I'll look here and I find pi and then I see down here that the format is pi open parenthesis close parenthesis and the function returns the value of pi which is 3.1459 and so on accurate to 15 digits. So I'm going to click OK and I see that the uh, formula has already pasted in the value of pi. But that's not my entire volume formula. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that. Multiply by the diameter, which is uh, cell B11, right? But that diameter has to be squared. So I will use the uh, elevated uh, symbol, which is a shift number six. That gives you that uh, small hat, which uh, represents... Um, to the power of. So that means B11 will be elevated to the power of 2 and then multiply by the height which is cell B12 right and then divided by 4. So I'm going to divide these by 4 and the result is then 33.1394 and this is going to be cubic feet. I don't really like to have uh, four decimals in my uh, in my calculations. I prefer to have everything in two decimals. So I'm going to select the entire uh, range and I'm going to click this comma format style which separates thousands with a comma and then separates the decimals with a decimal point two decimal points separation so this will give me a 33.14 cubic feet per pile cast uh, uh, as a volume of concrete. 
I'm going to select this entire row and I'm going to change the color to yellow. So then I know that these calculations here are uh, in reference to the pile cast concrete volume that uh, has a diameter of 1.17 feet which uh, it is 14 inches in feet a height of 31 feet and then the result is 33.14 cubic feet so this ends the uh, calculations for volume of concrete we will next do the calculations for steel and then we will figure out the cost of these elements for each one of the pile cast that we have uh, in this project.